Edison Abelard from Passion 47, and welcome to our official quick start to Project Tango. Now, we've been using Project Tango here at Passion 47 for probably six, seven months. Then we, we first got it in November or December of last year, and we didn't know what it did. We saw some videos and thought that, you know what, maybe we can kind of put our heads together and do some really cool stuff with it. And uh, we, we've been pretty much trying to break it since then. <laughs> Most of our projects are pushing the memory to the limit. Uh, you know, 200 meg is pretty normal, and I know that's right at the edge. Uh, you know, but we've been doing that 15 frames per second is nice. <laughs> uh, once again, you know, there's a lot of things in Unity that, that you know, we you can't just optimize for mobile with the Tango. And th those are things that we'll get into later on. But we've just been literally playing with it and just having fun. You know, worry about those those limitations later because we know there's another generation that's supposed to be twice or even four times as fast as the current one. Uh, so those limitations will eventually drop. So we probably won't even have to optimize that much anyways. But we wanted to share, you know, we found out there was very little information online. I know we have Google Plus, we have Stack Overflow, but there's just very little information. And so we wanted to uh, introduce the Project Tangle to people who are just getting started and also just to share with the community, share our experience, and maybe in sharing it, some other people will be able to share, write up some posts, do some videos, and together we can start helping each other solve the problems that we have with the Tangle. Now, if you're coming in from either Java or C, stay with us. I promise you, you don't need to know Unity to, in order to understand what we're talking about. One of the great benefits is, is that we actually share the same library. So when we talk about different classes and structs and uh, data formats, it's actually going to be the same exact thing that you're using in your stacks. Uh, although it's going to be applied within Unity, you'll still be able to get some, uh, you know, some feedback, kind of see how things are going. Uh, but more importantly, you'll get the actual core technology. You'll get a lot of the examples that we're doing and how we're, we're using, uh, you know, some of the, the pillars of the Tangle device that, uh, you know, that we've all kind of struggled learning about and, and trying to understand it. And so please, if you're one of the other developers, stay with us and have some fun. Uh, for everybody with Unity, you're definitely going to need Unity. I'm not going to go into downloading and, and on a, their website and go through all that, but you will use you will need to use Unity. I will caution you against updating just because <laughs> we've gone from 4.6 uh, down now with the recent release of 5.1, and the Tango has acted a little different with each one. Enough to make us almost pull our hair out. <laughs> and so I would definitely caution you, for, you know, against just downloading a whole bunch, but I would definitely say, uh, you know, it worked with 4, 4.6, and I've, oh, I want to say 5.1, 5.02, I know that, that we've had some success with. Uh, 5.1, we're still playing with it. We we had the last um, release candidate, and that one was, once again, a little iffy with some of the things. Let's first talk about the Project Tango device and what kicks off that relationship. So the Project Tango device, once you get it, you'll actually get a few updates. And a few months ago, early on in, in I would say January, February, uh, I believe there was a switch over to how the Tango was actually being managed with the Unity SDK. And so what, what you'll end up getting is, is you'll get you'll get a, a core update, an over-the-air update to your device, which you should get if you're just kicking it on. Uh, maybe it, it'll come installed, but if it's not and it's just factory, then you'll get that update and you'll also get a play update. Now it's very important that that you understand that your SDK version needs to match what's on the device. If you try to use, um, let's say for right now Nash is the current one. Let's say you you have you don't have the Nash version on your device, but you have the Nash SDK. There are going to be some uh, 
some issues that are going to happen. Things won't work, you know, things will break. And so you want to make sure that you have the same exact versions on both your device as well as uh, your SDK. So once you have all that downloaded and you're ready to, to jump in on your Tango, the next thing that you're going to want to do is, is actually come here and get the Android SDK. So the Android SDK will allow Unity to communicate with the device itself and do the build process. What you're going to want to do is actually get this standalone SDK. Click on this, uh, go through this whole process and actually download it. And when you download it, what you'll get is this. So the way the SDK works is, is uh, and this is just the Android SDK. And so the way the Android SDK works is, is there are different components that need to be downloaded or updated and installed onto your system. Now, for our case, if I come down, you'll see we have the different versions. You'll see API plus you'll see the Android number. I believe this is 4.2 that, that it accepts. So you see I have 4.2 the SDK um, installed. Some of these other things we're not going to need just because we don't need them. But you'll see I have 4.2 installed, I have 4.3 installed, um, 4.42 installed. And it's important that you, you have the uh, you have the right versions because once again we want to make sure our hardware and our software match each other. Now you'll see this this is the same for me to install 29 packages and that's because uh, there's also 5 and a few versions as well as M that came out. And so when you go through and you install these th this is where you'll actually get the ability to talk directly and this is for all Android devices it's not limited to just the Tango you have to go through the same process. As a side note, if we look up here, you'll notice that this is under NVPack. So we actually are using NVIDIA's new um, SDK. And it comes with a lot of great features that we found very useful for debugging. But that's a more advanced topic that if you are someone who's already doing this and you're looking for new ways, um, check out NVIDIA's new Android SDK uh, package, which comes with um, the Android SDK as well as uh, a few of the other tools to test any um, Tegra devices. So we have the Android SDK installed. Now that we have the Android SDK installed, the next thing we want to do is, is get the Java um, SDK. So now you can download, you can literally just Google Java um, downloads and you'll you'll see this SE version and you just need to download one of them uh, and it's it's both tools are free there are paid versions but that's nothing that we need to worry about so you just find the one that works with your platform um, A is obviously a newer one but uh, you know you go with whichever one fits best with your system but you want to keep it to uh, I believe earlier on we were we were working with seven but you know eight is what's available so you know unless you have a very specific reason to be downloading one of the seven versions uh, stick with eight git now if you're familiar with git then that's awesome if you're not then git is a open source versioning tool and just a little history behind it git was actually made by uh, one of the core developers for linux and so what, what happened was is he was using ver another version control. Um, I believe it was it was probably SVN or, or one of them. So he was using one of the version controls. And what happened was is with the Linux distributions and the way things were working, it made it very difficult for him to actually work and, you know, for the groups um, to be able to share and, and test and do a whole bunch of things with code uh, without messing up the original file. And so... Git was born. And so what Git allows us to do is it allows us to clone our code and have the ability to have our own environment, our own ecosystem, make changes, versions. Um, you know, what we used to do back in the days was copy and zip a folder. You know, Git has a way, um, they have branches, so uh, you don't have to copy though, and you can easily go revert 
and go back to different versions and have different features and, and merge them together. So Git a really good SVN or, or version control tool. Uh, because of the Unity tools being on GitHub, Git is typically the way you want to go through this. Now, uh, there are there are a couple ways that you can do this. I'll actually bring up, uh, let me just grab some command line tools. So, I'm on a Windows system right now. Uh, however, I will be jumping between both Windows and Mac. Uh, the Windows will have have the latest version of Unity installed, whereas the Mac will have multiple versions of Unity just because it's easier to install multiple versions of Unity on the Mac. And to tell you the truth, we develop a lot on the Mac anyways. <laughs> um, but the way Git works is, is if I can just show you this real quick. So Git has the ability to do something called cloning. So I'm just going to show you exactly how you you use it. And it's just you get you clone you know, you tell it the URL and it grabs whatever files you need. In our case, you know, in a later video I'll show you, um, we'll grab the, the, the actual Tango examples and pull them down. And that's pretty much how it works. It is command line and it can get just a little dicey if you're uncomfortable. However, if you are uncomfortable with working with the command line, then you don't need to use a command line. You can actually come here and you can see that we have a download zip or clone in desktop. Um, desktop is actually, they have a tool that will do all of this command line for you in a visual editor and that way you can get the most newest uh, versions and still have the ability to do the branching and everything else. If you don't and you just want to download it, then you just have to remember you'll have to keep downloading as new versions get released. Seeing as we're 28 days in, we should be seeing a new version hopefully very soon. Actually, no, there is a new version coming. Uh, why do I know this? Because I'm nosy. <laughs> and so this is one of the things that you get with Git, not just with GitHub, but you get to see what's really going on behind the scenes. Um, and so, seeing as N is on the list, we have O here. So hopefully either one of these two will be committed soon. Um, seeing as this is a patch, uh, we might skip O and go right down to P, but who knows. You can just use those files anyways. You don't have to wait for them to actually go live officially. Um, you can pull them down, but remember, SDK needs to match your hardware. So that's the files that you need. Installing Android, installing the Java, uh, installing Git and using Git or if you don't have uh, Git and you don't want to use command line then you can just easily just download it. That's all you're going to need to get started. Now I'm going to caution you when it comes to getting the source code it needs to come from GitHub. That's where it's being stored. Previously it was in the same location. If you actually came to the website you clicked on Unity uh, it's actually a whole nother website um, altogether, but originally what you had was is you had the samples and they were actually on uh, a, a Google hosted page and you would get both the SDK and you get the samples in the same place. That's no longer the case. So if you're, if you're downloading and you're getting SDK together or with the actual project example files, um, delete it. <laughs> you don't want them together. Um, too many things have changed and you will definitely find so many errors if you go down that path. So get it from GitHub directly. Every time a new release comes out, uh, emails will go through, plus will, will buzz. So you'll find out and of course your device will say that it needs to restart. Um, so you, you'll, you'll find out when a new release comes and when that happens you just come here, download it or use Git and clone it.